Howdy guys, it is Nintendo Capri Sun, what is up? We are back with Banjo-Kazooie, and in the last episode, I believe we finished the fourth world, so now we head on to the fifth. But I'm trying to remember if there was anything else. Yeah, I need to go put in that cheat at the sandcastle, I guess, but that can wait. Yes, I opened a no door, ain't I awesome? So up we go into Gruntilda's lair, getting progressively closer to the big Kahuna herself. Anyway, we got a couple of rooms in here. We might be able to do a little stuff before we head to the fifth world. For instance, we have a little switch here that unlocks a foot, apparently. No, actually it unlocks a foot switch, and it goes around the pot. And that will provide access to oops, a certain jiggy that we saw earlier that we weren't able to get to, so... What do you say we do this thing? Oh man, I was totally on that. What are you talking about? Let's try it again. Boing! And just get up here in the pot. That was a pretty good shot. And through the hat we go, and we pick up the Jiggy, but we're in jail! Oh wait, no we're not. Because the bar is magically open the moment we fall in. Nice of you Grunty to design it that way, because you could have stopped us right there. I mean, all you had to do was make the first note door 101 notes. And then we wouldn't have been able to finish the game. Thanks to a loyal gamer for uh, coming up with that one. He told me that yesterday. Like, if she would have just made the first note door 101 notes, then she would have won. Of course, she won anyway after my little game over screen yesterday, didn't she? Yeah, I had some fun times on here last night. I was doing stuff with everybody. Okay, those are the jumping boots, but we haven't been to the sixth puzzle. Oh, wait, we don't need to go to the sixth puzzle. We still haven't gone to the fifth world. Wait, what? Burgers, fries, and chips galore. What the heck? Oh man, I wish I'd seen what she said there. I'm not paying enough attention to that. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure where that other staircase went. So we'll remove this here. Not for any particular reason. Not at the moment. I'm not in any huge hurry. So are we really going into the four fifth world already? Somehow I thought there was more to do in Grunty's Lair, but I guess not. There's a couple of things we can unlock from here, from this world. And boy, I had some fun yesterday getting my ass kicked by this world. I was just like, God. The Peak's got another new move waiting for you. If you go in the igloo here, you can see there's some sad little bears and an Ecom Tokum. Well, where's our presents? Our dad Boggy said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Aw, no presents for Christmas? Well, that sucks. Welcome to the 90... Welcome to the majority, should I say, because most kids in this world. Okay, never mind. That's just depressing. But yeah, okay, so, wait, where... Pff, dude, it's right there, you silly. Okay, so this world is not as nearly as bad as uh, the swamp was, except for these angles on this hill going down. Groan, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Oh my god! What kind of shiny thing could he have possibly eaten? Um, I just can't even imagine. Like, it had to have been, like, a piece of jewelry. Maybe he was going to propose to somebody. But if he's already got kids, he's probably already proposed. So let's go light up the Christmas tree. By doing this, you stomp on the present here. Or to do that, whatever. And the Twinklies introduce themselves. So you have to just clear the path for them to get over to the tree. So if you get this just right, you have to get, like, a rhythm going with this thing. But I'm actually going to go back and... Wait for the first one to come out. Because what you have to do is get a rhythm with this, where you've had the first one, second one, third one. That seems to clear the path the best. Or at least, dude. There we go. And the first one's going to come out before I get there. Okay. Yeah, see, in, in this manner, you can actually keep the path safe for all the lights going off the path. You can pretty much get these guys before they even come out, so they don't even have a chance. Pretty simple. Like I said, the challenges of this world are nothing compared to what you see elsewhere in the game. That's why I was saying earlier they should have made this the fourth world, but then again, you know, what game has ever had an ice world for its fourth world? I don't know. The ice world is always, like, five or six. Like in Super Mario Bros. 3, it's a six. And in Su Well, no, wait, Super Mario 64, yeah, that's right. Oh, holy crap. We got an ice cube. A menacing ice cube. 
Because don't forget, if you were running low on life, you always got gold feathers to fall back on. That's what I did yesterday. I was down to one life, and I was on top of the... I was in a high place. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, let's stop this. Anyway, once we get saved all the twinklies, this little uh, switch popped out. Thanks to whoever mentioned that, actually, you can keep the R button down to keep the camera behind you. And uh, that helps a lot. So, you can hit the switch any day now would be nice. Ugh. There we go. Jeez. Stay out of the water. Okay, so, you'll say, Yippee, be a star, found your reward. So, I'll give you 60 seconds and you're going to have to fly through the star. So, we have to find a fly pad. Well, it just so happens there's one right over here. Don't worry about anything else right now. I see stuff all over the place that I need to do. But, we want to worry first and foremost about the star, because you only got so much time to do this. And you're going to be using a lot of red feathers here, so, might as well be prepared for that. Now we're just going to make a little Yui here. And, uh, don't go too high. Just, like, save the uh, red feathers for as long as you possibly can. And I know it's tempting to use them. Well, okay. You wouldn't be that way about it. <laughs> you got stuck in the star. Well, that made that a little easier. Okay, so. Okay, so. Oh, man, why did I do that? Okay, let's get inside the tree. Now! Yeah. Oh, um, I didn't show this. There's actually a mumbo token right here. The reason it's not there is because I had to cut. Because when I hit the switch the first time, I, did, I forgot that I had to fly through the star and I just came right in here. And then I got to the top and realized that the jiggy was encased in that ice stuff, so I had to go back outside and fly through the star. But in the process of doing that, I picked up a mumbo token that was at the top of the, or the bottom of the tree, I should say. So, so sorry about that. I don't think it's a big deal, really. We'll get these eggs because what the hey? Never, hey, never can have too many. And we get red feathers. I'll be glad to get that red feathers code, actually, but. Well, actually, by the time you get the code, though, you don't really need it anymore. You know, if you could have had the code to use in this world, it would have been useful, but flying is not important in any of the... You know, aside from the last world, it's really, you don't do much of it. Well, you do a little bit of it in the desert, but even by then, you still haven't gotten the, that particular cheat. So, it's kind of sad, but oh well. Okay, so let's move on, shall we? Let's see what else we got here. I just got home from work. Oh shoot, I got a TV dinner in the oven. That means I can't record for long. Dude, what are you doing? Don't be scared of these little mini platforms. They're not that hard to deal with. You just do it to it. Well. And get the Jinjo up here. Let's go get our move. Thank goodness we're not moving. Uh, time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. You do the devastating beak bomb attack? How can you do it without a beak? Well, I do it with my nose, but it kind of hurts. Sometimes I wear a beak mask, like that girl in Wind Waker. Speaking of Wind Waker... Never mind, I'm gonna go use my move. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the energy. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. Is that so? Tell me more. Tell me more, Guado. Is that what he says in Liar Liar? Or, or not Liar Liar, but the mask? I don't know, because Guado is like a race in Final Fantasy X. And we need to get rid of these freaking snowmen, so I think I'm actually going to take care of that first. Because not only is that fun, but also, you don't want these guys throwing snowballs at you while you're trying to go around and get all the jiggies. So, you just aim for the hat, and BAM! Like that. And, uh, it's probably best to aim right... Like, I like to aim from high... That was way too low. But, um, I like to aim from higher up. Shit, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm way too close to him. Let's get back away a little bit. <laughs> you want to try to aim right around Kazooie's head is about where I like to aim. Just have Kazooie's head pointing at whatever you want to fire at, and then go for it. Maybe a little bit lower than Kazooie's head, though, like right about there. I love the sound it makes when you hit those guys. It's like you hear that sound in cartoons or somewhere. I know I've heard it before. That's funny. There's supposed to be one right there, isn't there? Oh, he's up here. That's right. 
So this takes a little practice, but it's not too bad. No, you shouldn't try to do it in the middle of turning. I don't know why I was doing that. I'm just being stupid. Well, I thought maybe I'd get lucky, you know, because sometimes I do. There's another fly pad actually over here. And another snowman! Dude, man, that was pretty good aim. How'd you know I was gonna be in that spot? I don't care how much of a AI you got, man. He's right, it's right over here on top of the chimney. Hopefully I can get up there. No, no, I can get up there. Yes. Ecom Tokum, yeah, there's a Ecom Tokum. If you take off from there, so that's another good reason to do it. There he is. You're trying to hit the X on their hat. Shit. Oh, I got him. Okay, good. Thought I was a little too far to the left there, but yeah. So we got two more. One's right here. There might actually be three more. I can't remember. It's either five or six. I keep aiming too far to the left there. I don't know why I'm doing that. Because I'm being stupid. There we go. 